Hello, my beautiful twin flames. How are you guys? I hope everyone's doing well. Happy 1111 portal. Big energy portal today. A really heightened time for manifestation. Um, very, very exciting time. We always love 1111. So if you're new here, welcome. My name is Molly. I'm the Happy Soul Coach. I am a psychic medium, intuitive tarot card reader. I read mostly for the Twin Flame Collective. Today we're going to be doing an 1111 check-in to see what's going on with the Twin Flames. If you guys want to book a personal reading with me, all of the information is below in the description box. Thank you guys to everyone who has subscribed to the channel. If you haven't yet, I would love to have you. Helps get my messages out to more people uh, that need to hear them. Uh, so just click the subscribe button, click the little bell notification. You'll be notified whenever I post new videos. Make sure you click all as well so you get notified uh, first whenever I post a new update. Um, thank you to everybody who's left me comments, uh, liked my videos. Again, that just helps it uh, get out into the YouTube universe. It is so appreciated. I love reading through all of you guys' comments, and I'm just really glad that you're here. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with the reading. I just want to call in my spirit guides, guardian angels, ascended masters, 5D and above. Please let me be a clear channel for the collective today. Please guide us to the answers that we need to know. All right, so what's going on with our twin flame? So I'm going to be using the Wild Unknown Tarot deck today. So first, I just want to get an overall idea of what the energy is around this 1111 portal, please, for our twin flames. Okay, we've got the five of pentacles. Notice that it did come out in reverse. I don't usually read reversals, uh, but sometimes I am called to give the message that way. Okay, five of pentacles coming out of the dark, coming out of the dark. Queen of wands, beautiful. Seven of pentacles, yeah. So again, it's like the seeds have been planted, right? We've been sitting on this nest, right? If you look at this card here, the snake is guarding and protecting her her nest, her eggs. So I feel like again, we've been we've been guarded, we've been a little bit in the dark, right? We've been sort of planting seeds, we've been waiting for this rebirth energy, right? This rebirth energy to come in and it's coming now. It's coming out of the dark. That's what this portal is bringing in for twin flames. So again, lots of twins coming into union right now. Three of Swords, um, lots of, lots of things happening. Okay, there's the Magician. And I love that that came out last because the Magician represents a Master Manifester, right? So again, I feel that there's been a lot of sadness uh, for Twin Flames, a lot of longing, a lot of missing, a lot of, there's been some heartbreak, right? Um, a lot of those feelings have come up because it was part of the past, right? It was part of the past. It was part of the darkness. We're moving on from that now. Okay, we're moving on from that. We've mastered it. We've mastered releasing the past, releasing those emotions, releasing the sadness, the pain, the separation, all of that stuff that twins go through. We're moving forward during this portal, okay, into the light. And I absolutely love that. What's going on with the Divine Masculine? In regards to the Divine Feminine, what do we need to know? Beautiful, there's the Emperor and the Star card. I love that. So again, the emperor represents divine masculine. The star represents um, healing after trauma. All of your wishes coming true. Two beautiful cards to get together. And look, there's a change coming. This is the two of pentacles. A change coming. And again, I love that this is, you know, a butterfly here. It's like, again, the butterfly is coming out of the cocoon. We're coming through this darkness into the light. Okay, big, big change coming for the divine masculine. And there's the high priestess. Yeah, he's going to, again, the high priestess is, you know, something coming out that was hidden. Something that was like hiding behind the scenes. He's going to come forward to you, Divine Feminine. I'm feeling that very, very strongly right now. You guys have been getting synchronicities. I've been getting so many synchronicities. It's like crazy, 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 crazy. Beautiful. The Six of Pentacles. Um, so again, this is something that is... Um, yeah, they're showing me a lot of the, there's a lot of red energy going on right now, which is root chakra. Okay, so root chakra is where we, um, where we hold our fears, okay? So when we clear out our root chakra, it helps us stay grounded. It helps us release fears. And I feel like there's a big releasing energy coming in of this past heartbreak, this past sadness, this past fear. Like maybe I'm not going to be in union with my twin flame, right? Releasing all of that because again, the divine masculine right now, he's about to come forward to you. There's a big, big change coming. He's been doing the work. He's been healing. He's going to come out of kind of out of nowhere, right? You're going to manifest this. And um, yeah, he's going to move things forward with you. He's going to move things forward with you. 
How beautiful is this deck? I just love this deck so much. All right. What do we need to know for the Divine Feminine? Where is she at as far as her energy goes? And what do we need to know? We've got the Justice card. Okay. So for some of you, the Three of Pentacles. Again, you've been working on yourself, right? You've been balancing the scales. You've been balancing, again, the darkness and the light, right? Releasing past hurts. And I feel like for a lot of you divine feminines, you were seeking justice for the pain that this has caused you, but now you realize it was all part of the plan, right? It was all part of the plan to get you to where you're at because you're doing the work, okay? Beautiful. Ace of Wands, I love this, the Mother of Cups. Really taking care of yourself right now, Divine Feminine. That's really, really important. There's going to be a very big breakthrough coming in for you. Oh, and the Eight of Wands. Yeah, that's communication coming in again, like a lightning bolt. So I feel like you're manifesting this communication coming in from your Divine Masculine right now. Okay? Because you're balancing the scales, clearing out that root chakra, getting yourself grounded, okay? Releasing the past, letting the past go. Um, oh, that's so beautiful. I love that Divine Feminine. All right, let's find out what's going on with this communication coming in from the Divine Mask. And I want two cards for communication. Thank you. Page of Cups. So this is the Son of Cups. So for some of you, um, there's a big, like a children, like family involved. Like there, you may hear from a family member of your Divine Masculine, okay? Um, possibly a son, okay? The Seven of Swords. So this is really interesting too because the fox, there's a fox on this card. The fox is the twin flame animal and I love that. I feel like your divine masculine has been sitting on something like he's been wanting to like he's like written you a letter or he's written a text and he's just been sitting on it right and he hasn't come forward and 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 told you yet but he's been sitting on this communication and he is going to come forward i'm seeing in about like for some of you it's going to be in a week okay i know some of my other readings that there was nine days there was this big nine days uh, energy and a lot of you messaged me and said yes i heard from my dm in nine days so for some of you, it's going to be seven, about seven days, okay, about a week from now. So again, remember this 1111 portal is open and now is the time where you can manifest this communication coming in. For a lot of you, it's going to have to do with children or family. Somebody's going to reach out through a child or a family member. Okay, I'm going to move these over here for communication. And let's go ahead and pull for union, please. What do we need to know, please, spirit? Nine of Swords. Yeah. They're saying once you release that fear energy and you walk away from it. Eight of Cups. Sorry, Nine of Cups. Uh, the Hierophant. Ooh. I love that there's all these like lightning bolts. Like see this lightning bolt coming in. And there's a crow. Nine of Cups, all of your wishes coming true. Interesting that I was channeling nine days, right? And then now we've got two nines out here. Um, so again, nines represent cycles almost coming to completion. Tens represent cycles coming to completion. I just got heat right here on the right, my right hand. Um, so what this is saying is that things are heating up, right? We're getting to, to that cycle where you're releasing all of this fear, this anxiety, so that you can bring on your union. We've got the Hierophant here. So for some of you, this union is going to mean a major commitment marriage. We've got the Tower. Oh my God, more lightning. That's really interesting, this lightning um, energy that's coming through here. For some of you, this union is going to happen really fast. Like fast and furious. And we've got the Two of Swords, which is peace. Um, yeah, they're saying... Yeah, they're saying this is like the the happy ending, the conclusion of all of this work that you've been doing. Um, again, it's never the work is never fully done, right? We always still have to work, even when we're in union with our twin, um, because we're constantly evolving and moving towards ascension. But I am seeing that for a lot of you, this is going to happen very very quickly. There's going to be a higher level of commitment. Some of you are going to be getting married. Okay, which is so beautiful. And again, it's going to happen when we release all of this fear energy, when we come out of the darkness and we come into the light. All right, so I'm going to pull an animal spirit guide, please, for our 1111 portal. What guide wants to come through? 
Oh my God, I love this. It's the bee. I have not pulled this card in so long. And it says, be spirit, sweet results await. So again, it's like that honey is coming. <laughs> the honey is coming. You've been doing the work. You've been, um, you know, putting things into yourself. You've been doing the work, Divine Feminine, here. Balancing the darkness and the light. So you're going to get that honey, I'm telling you. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, guys, I'm going to pull one last card, please, for the collective. What is the message that needs to come through today? Allow your imagination to drift beyond the horizon. Beyond time, there is a world of dreams without limits, full of magical ideas, a world just waiting for you. But this faraway world is not so far as inside your heart, and all it takes to get there is a dream. So I love that this came through because, again, 1111 is a big manifestation portal, right? So what is the life that you dream of? You dream of union with your divine masculine, script it out, manifest it, because it is coming in this portal. Okay, guys? Sending you so much love and light. Please let me know how this reading resonated with you guys. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I would love to have you here. And if you want to book a personal reading, all the information is below. Um, and also, happy Veterans Day to all of our uh, veterans who have served in the armed forces. I'm sending you guys so much love and light. Take care, and I'll talk to you soon. Namaste.